Happy New Year, tea enthusiasts, and welcome to another soothing episode of Tea Time Tuesday. I'm your host, Princess P, here to share how the disciplined Capricorn sun nudges us towards setting boundaries with affirmations and herbs like thyme. And the last quarter moon graces us in Libra, asking us to consider incorporating heart chakra herbs like ginger into the new year to let go and release what no longer serves us this week. Harnessing the disciplined vibes of Capricorn and the harmonious touch of Libra's last quarter moon can be your cosmic toolkit for kicking passive aggressiveness and codependency to the curb this January 2024. Channel Capricorn's discipline energy to set boundaries and structure, empowering you to shed toxic habits. As the waning crescent moon in Libra graces us with its harmonizing aura, it's the perfect time to release negative energy. Libra, the seventh zodiac sign, signifies the stage where individuals recognize others' feelings and desires. As a cardinal air sign ruled by Venus, Libra is driven by beauty and relationships, seeking harmony and balance. With a refined understanding of balance, Libra operates as a diplomatic force, emphasizing justice and personal responsibility. But despite a desire for relationships, there's a risk of dependency. To find true harmony, Libra must learn that individuality is key, avoiding reliance on others for completeness. Balancing the mental and social realms, Libra's pursuit of harmony extends beyond relationships to encompass art, science, and connection with the universal source. When we embrace the balance and harmony of Libra to reconnect with our heart chakra, we allow a fresh positive energy to flow. It's like a cosmic detox leaving you ready to conquer the year with a renewed sense of self and cosmic alignment. The moon in Libra often grapples with expressing profound emotions openly, seeking security and safety in relationships instead. Libra moons value harmony and may navigate emotional complexities by becoming codependent and leaning on partnerships. Codependency is a relational pattern where one person excessively relies on another for emotional support, validation, and a sense of identity. When unbalanced, codependency can negatively impact relationships, creating an unhealthy dynamic. Those exhibiting codependent traits might attract narcissist individuals leading to heartbreak as the relationship becomes one-sided and emotionally draining. In chronic cases, codependency can result in a perpetual cycle of unfulfilling connections, reinforcing patterns of seeking validations externally. Individuals with a significant amount of Libra in their natal chart might be more prone to struggle with codependency. Libra being a sign associated with relationships and harmony may sometimes prioritize external connections to an extent that compromises individual well-being. Prioritizing external connections at the expense of individual well-being can be unhealthy, particularly for the heart chakra. The heart chakra associated with love and compassion may suffer when excessive focus on external validation compromises one's own needs. This imbalance can lead to emotional exhaustion, strained relationships, and a diminished sense of self-worth. Engaging in self-care activities is crucial for restoring and maintaining individual well-being. Benefits include reduced stress, improved mental health, increased self-awareness, and enhanced emotional resilience. When we prioritize self-care, we signal to ourselves that our well-being matters. 
fostering a healthier balance in relationships. Building a sense of self-worth through self-care becomes a powerful antidote to codependency issues. It establishes a foundation of personal fulfillment, making individuals less reliant on external validation. By recognizing and meeting one's own needs through self-care practices, individuals can break free from the cycle of seeking unwarranted validation from others, fostering healthier, more balanced connections. Finding a healthy balance between relational harmony and personal independence becomes crucial for those with prominent Libra energy. But this week, we have the Sun in Capricorn as the cosmic ally. Capricorns are known for their grounded and stable nature, providing a reliable anchor for the Libra moon's emotional fluctuations. Capricorn's disciplined approach can offer structure to the Libra moon's quest for security, fostering a supportive environment. Together, they create a balanced synergy where Capricorn's steadfastness meets Libra's need for emotional equilibrium, forming a foundation of strength and emotional well-being. Capricorn's disciplined energy becomes our cosmic ally, urging us to set boundaries and structure for life, shifting us from passive waiting to proactive planning. This discipline approach empowers us to set self-love goals, craft a schedule, and foster self-reliance rather than passively anticipate handouts. For Capricorn energy, herbs like thyme and rosemary are great. They complement Capricorn's disciplined and grounded nature, aiding focus and clarity. For Libra energy, Herbs like lavender and chamomile work well. They align with Libra's harmony-seeking traits, promoting relaxation and balance in energy. This Thursday, January 4th, will be the last quarter moon, which emerges in Libra, taking the form of a waning crescent. This celestial event bathes us in Libra's harmonizing aura, encouraging us to release negative energy and embrace balance. Libra, ruled by Venus, guides us through a perfect time to shed emotional baggage and recalibrate our energies for a fresh start. The disciplined Capricorn energy and the harmonious influence of the waning crescent moon in Libra align to empower us in structuring our lives and releasing negativity, fostering a positive and balanced start to the new year. The last quarter moon is a terminology used for describing a moon phase. Understanding the moon phases can help us structure our lives in many ways. The moon phases refer to the changing appearance of the moon as observed from Earth due to its orbit. The cycle consists of eight phases, starting with the new moon and progressing through waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent. Early civilizations use lunar phases for practical purposes, like tackling time and organizing calendars. Agriculturally, it helped determine optimal planting and harvesting times. On a spiritual level, some belief systems associate moon phases with symbolic meanings. For instance, the waxing moon might symbolize growth and manifestation, while the waning moon could signify release and reflection. Practices like meditation or intention setting with affirmations during specific phases are thought to align with these symbolic energies. Physically, the moon affects Earth's tides through gravitational forces. Some argue that being attuned to lunar cycles could positively influence bodily rhythms, 
potentially aiding sleep patterns and overall well-being. The moon is believed to govern our emotions due to its gravitational influence on Earth's tides. In astrology, the moon is associated with our inner feelings, intuition, and emotional responses. Structuring one's life around moon's phases involves recognizing the different energetic qualities of each phase and aligning activities accordingly. For example, during the waxing phase from new moon to full moon, energy builds, making it an optimal time for initiating new projects or endeavors. The full moon is often associated with heightened emotions and illuminations. As the moon wanes from full moon to new moon, it's considered a sustainable period for reflection, release, and letting go. By understanding and aligning activities with moon phases, individuals can navigate emotional ebbs and flows, fostering a sense of balance. It provides a framework for intentional living, helping individuals optimize their energy and emotional well-being throughout the lunar cycle. Understanding moon phases combines historical utility with spiritual and physical alignment, offering a holistic perspective on our relationship with the cosmos. I use the moon's calendar to time when I plant my veggies and herbs, and it really affects how they grow. I also follow the moon's phases to keep a good vibe of my own energy. It's like Libra energy, always seeking balance. Whatever you're doing in life, just make sure you got a good balance going on. And if you're looking for a self-care program to help you cultivate balance this new year, sip in self-care with Princess Ginger's Heart Chakra Affirmation Tea. And until next Tuesday, beautiful souls, stay connected and stay aware.